this dream situation is genuinely getting out of ten to a point where like I just can't believe it. I'm gonna sound really congested in this video, guys. I'm really sick. I'm sorry for being so sick. My bad. Oh yes, you heard me right. This dream situation has unfolded to even more lengths. Not in my previous video, I only talked about the edit, and if you don't know have the context, then go check that in the card that should be above right now. Go check out that video if you haven't already. It gives some context to the situation. But recently, uh, Dream gave his take on doxing and that if you were a bit smaller account on like Twitter or something, you shouldn't be worrying about being doxed because it has an astronomically low chance of actually harming your life for their life and all that stuff um i'm just gonna express that if you are a person on twitter and you have seven followers and you get doxed on twitter um the odds of you having something happen to you in your life are so astronomically small that it's not even worth worrying about it's, it's not even, it's not even worth it remotely i mean everybody that i know that is a creator um has been has had their address leaked has had their name leaked, has had everything leaked about them. Um, and it, it's very rare to have things actually happen, even people with millions and millions of haters and millions and millions of fans and millions and millions of things. So I guess this is more of a, hey, you know, don't, don't worry too much, don't stress. Um, but, you know, just if, if you're at the end of the day, if you're on the internet and you, and you have something like that happen to you, try and ignore it the best you can. Try and, try and uh, you know, avoid it and... You'll be fine at the end of the day. You'll be okay. Um, again, that doesn't mean doxing okay. Doxing is horrible. Sort of a dumb take, and maybe you shouldn't have flabbed your lips on this one, buddy, but you want to know what? I can somewhat understand where he's coming from. I didn't, if, if he was comparing, like, him getting doxxed to a smaller person getting doxxed, then yes, in comparison, it's like apples and oranges. Two completely different scenarios, but I just don't understand the take that on its own, uh, doxing is okay because you're small and you won't have any effect on it, but that's what people on Twitter are insinuating. Now, again, dumb take probably shouldn't have said it i understand where he's coming from but he should have said it in a better way like in comparison to a youtuber of my caliber getting dodged when you have some followers and is insignificant but state it like that that person would have to go out of their way to dox that seven follower person in the first place who says that they won't do anything afterwards i mean there's a low chance of it but who says? You could have just worded it better. It was a dumb take, and Twitter got outraged about it, as usual. This is already fixed. Dream just sometimes maybe stopped talking a little bit. That's not to be mean by any means, but you're a giant creator going on impulse streams just for the hell of it to try and respond to something or making tweets on your private where you just flip out for no reason is kind of the way that you lose that big platform. I'm not saying he has to be perfect because Dream isn't perfect, but you don't have to go on impulse streams. You can respond coherently and take some time to think about it because Stan Twitter is literally just going to immediately rag on you for anything said, even if there's no context behind it. At that point, what you were trying to say and you must have worded it incorrectly doesn't matter because you still worded it incorrectly so you're held responsible for whatever reason the funny little summary of the situation is uh this tweet right here dream doxing ain't that bad guys gets doxed dream no matter your race religion gender culture identity no matter it does segment pretty well into the uh rest of the video because dream has allegedly been doxed now for people that think that this is some new development in the situation you're entirely incorrect now i'm a youtuber of about two years at this point maybe a year and a couple of months maybe a year and eight months back when i was a wee little youtube tot when i was just goofing around on youtube i remember all the topic commentators that i was friends with had made videos on dream getting docs and these exact photos that i'm being shown currently are the exact photos that were shown back then so this isn't an entirely new development but it's being resurfaced again even though it has been suppressed for the past maybe year or so obviously i'm not going to show the face i'm going to censor it all because i'm not an idiot you may be asking salty why you haven't made any contextual videos on the situation you don't we don't know why dream got docs in the first place now for the first situation a year ago I can't remember because it was a year ago, duh. But for this one is essentially the fact that after arguing with a smaller Twitter account, a dream stan had doxxed that Twitter account, that Twitter account was a minor, that person running that was a minor. So people made the correlation, therefore, 
dream dox a kid or was responsible for the doxing of a kid. Now this kid was blackmailed into not talking of any negatively about dream and any action that dream took they had to defend it. It was actually silly seeing this tweet. It was uh, it genuinely flabbergasted me. I thought it was a troll or something, but, but I read the tweet and it was cr it was crazy. They said that they had come to an agreement with the the doxer cuz they had to and they gave three reasons and three like uh, main points and things they had to focalize on with their Twitter account and are responsible for to do for whenever Dream posts ever again. They can't say anything negative about Dream. They have to be extremely in support of Dream and defend each and every action that they take just for their information not to get leaked. It was crazy reading that tweet. After the negotiations, we've decided that I, the doc's information, will not be publicly shared as long as I follow a few rules, which I am allowed to state. I cannot say anything against Dream. I must not reveal the identity of the doctor. I must always defend Dream's actions. They may, they have my address. They have proven that, and they have not shared it. But that is not the extent of the situation. Now, essentially, another Minecraft sort of that sort of community of people, YouTubers, of the stand culture sort of community. Uh, Jack Manifold went on to a stream uh, with I think it's Mizkif and a bunch of people. The, the three people there, they just talk about like the drama a tad bit, and they talk about it really nonchalantly. I'll play the clip now. Dude, George's community must be a. It, Am I wrong on this? It's 15 year olds that are girls that are just obsessed with him. Yes. Damn. Damn. Yeah, because it's just like. Wait, a... do you know what Dream looks like? No. Is that picture of him when, like, the, 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 the bigger. Was that him? How would I know? I don't like, know. How would I know? I don't know. Dream, like, he, right, this is the thing about Dream. Is that not him? People said that was he him. He would say no, regardless of whether it was or not, to me. Like, I, I don't like, I, I, don't know if it's him, I don't know if it isn't. There's no way of me knowing, because I've never seen him. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea. Like, he's just going to tell me the same thing he told his audience, which is no. I wonder if that's Dream. Okay, let's... let's and many, and I mean many, people were extremely outraged with this clip, and it's not even funny because this clip isn't even that bad. They, what, like, do you want them to be worried? Do you want them to feel that emotion of being worried for their friend's actual safety? No, and when you don't do the research and don't realize that the situation has happened before, and they knew that that situation had happened before, why would they worry? What reason would they have to worry? Why should they worry? Why should they be paranoid for their friend who says that no, it's not the, their face? If it's not their face, if it's not their address, then why should you be worried about it? It's such a dumb argument for, for, for like, and, and they're offended because he calls them 15 year old girls and that's all they do in their free time is watch uh, Minecraft YouTubers. But to be honest, you're just proving his point. Like the point of maybe that he's insinuating the fan base and generalizing it, whatever, I don't really care about that. But it's the argument that they should be entirely worried for their friend. Obviously it, shows, it should be good to show a sign of it. But come on, man. Do you really think they should be paranoid, shaking, crying, nervous, and sweating on stream o over dream safety? But this not the only thing that Jack Manifold's getting cancelled for. He also went on the stream and said that he disagreed with, like, Dream's apology, or at least that, that's what people were insinuating, he said. Which, honestly, even if he did say it, uh, he's right. <laughs> because Dream's, like, response and, like, saying that if you have seven followers, you getting docs not that big of a deal is so astronomically silly, and I'd agree with Jack Manifold on that front. And then the other reason is, like, they talked to, like, what I, like, what I showed, they talked nonchalantly about Dream getting doxxed and being responsible for doxing other people. Which is a two front of that. Why are you criticizing him for, like, talking bad about dreams docs or whatever even though it's just speculation it's not even something that's like disrespectful it's literally speculation on stream and even in that instance jack manifold didn't even do anything wrong Ms. kiff is the one who was talking about it why is jack manifold being held responsible for any of this he doesn't even he didn't even do anything he literally just showed up on stream he didn't do much and honestly Ms. kiff isn't capping when he says it's full of 15 year old girls the response to this stating that it was oh oh you're so bad is sort of proving their point because 15 year old are immature and it's an immature response to a stream that's just calling people out and it's not the issue that like year 15 is the issue it's just like the issue of the over obsessiveness and the cancellation that could genuinely harm people's lives and allegations that can genuinely harm people's lives so that's why the demographic is looked down upon because they're so immature and they don't know the weight of their actions and they can genuinely harm someone so having people that are obsessive even over obsessive at times and they just go out on any whim and just say fuck it and go for it are not the best people to have as a fan base 
ways, and Jack Manifold wasn't insulting that. He was just saying that he he, he wasn't trying to aim for the demographic. He just aimed, he just got to that demographic by chance. Like for my demographic, it says it's like 30%, like which is majority of the percent is like 18, and the rest are little percentages. I know that's a lie. You guys are all like preteens or teenagers statistically, and you sign up for 18 because then you can watch age restricted videos and content. I do get it. And even on stream, he like live gets the complaints from his fan base, like about saying stuff about Dream. And honestly, it's kind of funny to witness because people on Twitter like to take things out of context. One of the clips got taken out of context and people are mad at him over it live on stream. And I found that pretty funny. The funny part is the way the fans responded, like like some of them stated, oh yeah, I'm this age and I'm a fan and I can... I'm above the age of 18, and I'm a George Not Found fan, and I spend a lot of my time watching George Not Found, which I'm not gonna say that, you know, you should stop that, maybe it's just a hobby of yours, but you can't be saying this sort of shit on Twitter, and then state that you have a life. If you're coming after someone for calling you a 15-year-old girl, on Twitter, of all places, defending your favorite content creator... I'm sure you have a lot going on in your free time. Actually, scratch that. You have a lot of free time. But it's funny seeing them get so mad about it. Because, like, the 15-year-old comment. Like, embrace it. Like, if you embrace it, then it'll be like, Oh, well, he's, they're not reacting. They're not responding. So I'll just stop making these sorts of jokes. But now that you give him a response, now he's like, Oh, well, now I can just make another uh, joke about this. And people will be all up in my face about it. And more attention. You know, you just don't give them the attention. That's, that's, that's the dumb part about these people. But that about wraps it up for this video. I've had enough of talking about Dream. Because I, I don't do it often. And I don't want to do it often. This drama is kind of dumb on both ends. Whether you're a Dream stand or not. Whether you're a Dream or not. That's essentially my take on it. Uh, people are dumb. Twitter's dumb. I'm dumb. End of conversation. If you enjoyed this video, there should be one on screen exactly like this one. So if you want to see another video exactly like this one, just please go click it above. Also, go down and click the subscribe button, post notifications, so you never miss an upload. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Bye.